ask Tom on home show. Elwood from Cat Spring, Texas. Hang on a second. Elwood. Hang on a second. Okay. Elwood from Cat Spring, Texas needs some. Elwood from Cat Spring, Texas needs some drainage advice. Yeah, he's been with us a while, Tom. He he went through the freeze with you in '83, and now huh. now this recent one, right? Elwood writes, "I remember well all the freeze calls you got in '83, and there were no materials. So now he wants to know how do I drain my pipes in my home? And I I think he's asking just so he's clear on how to do it right." Because God knows I had made the same problem, Elwood. So <laughs> I can shut yeah. off the water at my well, at my well house, but only have one outside faucet drain the house. If I drain all my out at all my fixtures after shutting off the water, what about the horizontal lines up in the attic? That's actually a really good question because people are confused by it. I only have one spigot on my two-story home to drain the entire house. So I'm going to drain the fixtures and stuff too. And what I, I'm, I'm going to go through this in a minute, but the first point I want to make is pipes don't freeze, or if they do freeze, it's not a problem. It's having water filled up all the way in a pipe that causes the problem because the water, when it turns to ice, will expand and split a pipe. So we want to get the water out. We don't care about the pipes. We care about the water in the pipe. So you turn the water off to the house. You open all the valves, and even if there's only one drain on the house, that's fine. But you have to open all the others too, because it's like a straw. If you put your finger over the top of it, the water won't come out and let you let air in. But once you let air in, even on the horizontal runs, gravity is going to make it move. It's just going to start to fall in the pipe and just move down the, the verticals. And it's going to find its way down to that, that drain. And, and hopefully it'll drain enough. If you have areas on the verticals that can't drain, and Charlie, you experienced this because you didn't realize you had a hose bib, so that one vertical stayed full of water, that's a problem. So if it was designed with something like that, a hose bib for drainage is important. But that's mm -hmm. the only way you're going to be able to do it is with the hose bibs and turning, opening up all the faucets so the air can go in. When I open my faucets at one end of the house upstairs and I open that spigot down, I can hear the air rushing into the pipes and it goes on for a long time. Mm -hmm. And it's just draining and draining all the horizontals, all the verticals. Everything is moving along very nicely and you should not have any problems if it's designed right. But it's the key is opening up everything mm -hmm. and letting the air in. The horizontals will drain naturally. I, I heard, uh, I spoke with... Um our buddy Gary Gould at TDT about this very thing. Yeah. And he thinks that every pier and beam home inside the loop must have burst pipes because they didn't have a hose bib low enough to get the, the pipes underneath the house. And he said, or if they did, they didn't run long enough to empty or whatever. And, and that was the problem. So I'm glad that well, only happens. You know happens. what you do with that? If, if it's yeah. easy to fix next time, right. you take some hose bibs because it's under the house. You can have a plumber go in or you can do it yourself if you're handy right. like that. And put some some drain spigots on the bottom underneath. And when it's yep. time for that to come, I know you have to crawl under there and undo it. Or if you want to run a line with a little slope to where it's accessible, you'll be able to drain it. They do that in basements up north. My Lake Placid house had a bunch of drain spigots in the basement up above you. And if you had to, you would just drain it to the floor of the basement mm -hmm. and let it go out the drain. And that way, all the pipes would drain all the way out because your basements, a lot of them weren't heated. All right. You want to, you, you want help? You want to make sure you get it right? I'll tell you what you do. You go over there to homeshowradio.com and click on that blue button right over there. It'll take you to this page where you can send us a picture. You can send us a video. we got a bunch of video questions coming next week, by the way, Tom. Just want to prepare you. Um, we'll have those for okay. you. And because Tom answers a new one of these every day. And we post them at homeshowradio.com so you can find them and also our Facebook page and our YouTube channel where you'll find hundreds and thousands, literally thousands of answers from Tom there for your, uh, for your perusal and edification.